Hi everybody, you want to show demand pull inflation and cost push inflation, how do you construct these diagrams? Well, uh, let's look at demand pull inflation first. All it is, is a simple shift of AD to the right. That will show the higher inflationary pressure as a result. The classical model here, a really simple classical model, just with AD and SRAS, and then the Keynesian model. So two different ways you can show it. Both are equally fine. So we'll have price level and real GDP. And we'll have price level and real GDP, so labeling both. Let's look at the uh, classical model first. So if we take SRS here, let's not draw an LRS, don't need it on this one. So AD and SRS, a simple AD shift to the right from AD1 to AD2. Label your equilibria. And you will see there is an increase in the price level from P1 to P2. That is your demand for inflation. So that's one way in which you can show it. The other way you can show it is by using the Keynesian LRAS diagram. So do whichever one you feel comfortable with and simply shift AD from AD1 to AD2. A key thing on this diagram is to start your AD kind of towards the curve um, on the LRAS and then shift it to the right. That way you'll guarantee showing an increase in inflation. There's no point shifting AD on the horizontal part here. You won't show any inflationary pressure. Alright, so stick YFE on. So the increase has taken us to YFE, but most importantly, there's an increase in inflation from P1 to P2. Alright, so that's how we can show demand pull inflation. Cost push inflation, simply to shift to the left of SRS. So price level on the y-axis and real GDP on the x-axis. There's your initial SRS. There's your initial aggregate demand. A simple diagram like that will suffice. And shift SRS to the left now. There is that shift. And do your labeling. So initial equilibrium is at y1 and p1. New equilibrium They've got lower growth, but most importantly, your cost push inflationary pressure from P1 to P2. Always double check that you've labeled all your curves, all your, um, all your curves, all your axis, and all your equilibria. That has been done, all the diagrams have been aced. Pick whichever one you want to do, practice it, and then put it in your essay and put it in your exam, and you'll be absolutely dandy. Thanks very much, guys. I'll see you on the next video.